Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I'm learning mathematics super easy. And on this video tutorial, guys, we are still going through the grade 12 mathematical literacy paper one that was written in June 2023. And in this video tutorial, guys, we're going to be tackling question 1.2. And question 1.2, guys, is nice and easy. It's just us analyzing and interpreting this table that is given to us, right? Um, this question just requires you to understand the meaning of ascending order, the meaning of descending order, right? Um, so this question just requires us to know the difference between ascending order and descending order, right? So it's a nice, fun um, question where we're just going to be interpreting this question that is given to us, right? So before you get started with today's video tutorial, guys, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Please make sure that you click on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload a video tutorial guys i upload video tutorials every tuesday wednesday and thursday right and then if for a bonus you'll also get a video tutorial on a sunday okay but please make sure that you have your notification bells turned on because i'll make sure that on those days i always upload a video tutorial at 6 p.m because i see that you guys are studying for your final exam i hope you guys enjoyed the previous video tutorial um I hope that it was super informative, right? So without any further ado, guys, let's get started with today's video tutorial. So question 1.2, right, says that John's daughter joined the school soccer the school's hockey team in 2022 right it says table one below shows the school sports uniform she would need as well as the percentage change in the price compared to the previous year okay so obviously here we're given the items um that john's daughter will need um for her hockey uniform right we are given what the price was in 2021 we're given what the price is or was in 2022 and we're given what the percentage change was right so here they're basically calculated with the percentage decrease or what the percentage increase was of the price of the hockey uniform okay for example let's have a look at our uh, 2021 right do you see that the price for the sports uh shirt it was 267 rand and 92 cents right however in 2022 the price for the sports shirt decreased right so here we are given the percentage that um the price decreased by so the price decreased by 1.1 percent so the negative just shows that it decreased by 1.1 percent okay right the sports shirt okay uh, the sports shorts in 2021, it was 214 rand and 17 cents. In 2022, it is 177 rand. So there was a decrease of 17.4%. Okay, right? The sports skirt, okay? In 2021, it is 248 rand and 70 cents. In 2022, it is 232 rand. So there was a decrease of 6.7%. Okay, the tracksuit top, in 2021 it is 267 rand and 78 cents in 2022 it increased do you see that to 382 rand so it increased by 42 it increased by a whopping 42.7 percent okay so that's a huge increase okay so that's basically what we are being shown here okay what the price was, what the price is in 2022, and what the percentage change was. Was there an increase or was there a decrease in the price? Okay, nice. So it says use table one to answer the questions that follow. Question 1.2.1. It says arrange in ascending order. We are going to get much. Ascending order, the percentage change in the price. Guys, with math literacy, I always say this. Make sure you've got your highlighter. Make sure that you focus your attention on a particular... Because math literacy always tells you what to do. It tells you how to word 
or, or start up your equations. It tells you where to focus your attention, right? So in this case, okay, we already know that we need to arrange something in ascending order. What are we arranging in ascending order? We're arranging the percentage change in price, right? So we're going to be focusing on this column and we're going to be arranging all of these percentage changes in ascending order right so when we talk about ascending order what are we actually talking about when okay when we're arranging uh, values okay numbers in ascending order guys we are starting from the lowest value to the highest value okay and here the trick here is that we've got negative values here right so that's the trick you need to understand that if we're going in ascending order we're going to start off with the lowest 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 value the smallest smallest value and you're going to go all the way up to the highest value right so what is the lowest value in this column right so you guys need to realize that the lowest value in this column right is negative 17.4 percent okay why am i saying this if we were to picture this on a number line right some people might not need this but i'm just going in a bit extra for my other learners right okay so let's say for example we've got a, a number line here yeah man? okay so that's our number line we've got zero here right then we've got one two three four five we are increasing right okay we are ascending one two three four five right and then when you look at the values that are actually before the zero it's negative one negative two negative three until we get all the way up to negative 17.4 so do we see that now the negative 17.4 is actually the smallest value um on this column right that's our first value that we're going to write down Okay, negative 17.4. Then we're going to see, okay, we've got negative 17.4. Somewhere there, we've got negative 6.7. Okay, that's the next value. Somewhere there, right, we've got negative 1.1. Okay, then we've got 10 and whatnot, whatnot. So it's very important that you understand that the first value that we want to start off, the lowest value, the smallest value is negative 17.4%. Then the next one is negative 6.7. Then the next one is going to be negative 1.1. Then we're going to continue from there. I think from there, it's very easy for you guys to see um, which value is the lowest and which one is the um biggest all right so i hope you guys appreciate that but i think some, someone was probably confused there okay so let's just now write all these values in ascending order going from the smallest value to the largest value going from the lowest value to the highest value all right so these values or these change in prices arranged in ascending order will be change in price arranged in ascending order would therefore be negative 17.4 percent negative 6.7 percent negative 1.1 percent 10.1 percent 42.7 percent 90.1 percent and 122.2 percent okay just a tip on what you need to do when you're basically dealing with this these type of questions where you need to arrange values in ascending or descending order guys please make sure that you take off the values that you've already written down okay that's a nice way to ensure that you don't basically make any mistake so after you've basically written the negative um 17.4 percent take it off right to see that okay you've you, you're done with that okay when you're done with the negative 6.7 take it off right when you're done with the negative 1.1 take it off right that's how you'll ensure that you do not make any mistakes when you are basically doing your solutions all right let's have a look at question 1.2.2 it says identify the third most expensive item in 2022 okay so a great way in which you would basically answer this question like i mentioned right focus your attention on what the question is asking you okay the question is asking you to focus right on what the third most expensive item of 2022 right so we're going to go to 2022 and in 2022 just highlight that column 
just so you focus your attention on that column, right? And then from there, you're going to basically have a look at the most expensive item and then go down in descending order. So from the largest item going all the way down, 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 that will help you determine what the third most expensive item is. Okay, let me show you what I mean by this. Okay, we're going to focus our attention on this column, right? On the 2022 price column okay then we're gonna try we're gonna actually go down in descending order what do i mean by descending order from the highest value to the lowest value so what is the highest value okay the highest value right is 382 that's the highest value okay then what's the second highest value we're going down in descending order i need guys so from the highest to the lowest okay so 382 what is the second highest value it's 265, okay, because it's 382, okay, that's the highest value. The second highest value, it's 265. Do you see that we're going down in descending from the highest to the lowest, no? And then what is the third highest? 265, 232, okay? Do you see that it's 232, okay? It's 232, right? 232. So, therefore, the third most expensive item in 2022 is what item? You want to highlight that, guys? Please don't leave it at 232, okay? What is that item? That item is the, the sports skirt because the sports skirt was what was 232 in. 2022 okay so you see that actually going in down in descending order helped us determine what the one two third most expensive item was right the third most expensive item was 332 and it was what the sports skirt okay so please make sure here we're not writing down the value they wanted the item okay so therefore the item was the sports skirt Okay, so the sports skirt was the third most expensive item. All right, let's have a look at question 1.2.3. It says, calculate the difference in the price of the cap in 2022 compared to 2021. Again, guys, mathematical literacy tells you how you need to word your equations. Okay, it helps you start off your word problem. And then from there, you are able to build to um, the mathematical equation. And then from there, you can solve. Okay. So when they say they want you to calculate the difference in the price of the cap sport in 2022 compared to 2021. Again, guys, right? We're going to be focusing on the price for the caps. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to highlight here. We are focusing on the price for the caps. Okay, and what do we want when it comes to these prices? We want to determine what the difference is, right? So in other words, we want to subtract the price of the cap in 2022 minus from the price of the cap in 2021, right? So the difference, okay, in the price of the cap bought in 2022 compared to 2021. So what was the price? So I want to determine the price in 2022 minus the price in 2021, okay? So from here, we're just going to substitute the values. What is the price in 2022? The price of the cap in 2022 is 171 Rand minus what is the price in 2021? 89 Rand and 95 cents, okay? So do you see that we are finding the difference, right? We are subtracting the price from 2022 minus the price in 2021, guys. It tells you exactly how you need to word your equation, right? And then from there, you can further on build from that, okay? So 171 minus 89 rand and 95 cents, you'll, you'll find that the difference, you'll find that the difference in the price from the price in 2022 compared to the price in 2021 is 81 rand and five cents, okay? And that is basically our um, final answer. All right, let's have a look at question 1.2.4. It says, determine the total cost of the school sports uniform 
in 2021 okay again guys we're gonna focus our attention on which column we're gonna focus our attention on the 2020 2021 um prize column right and what do we want we want to determine what was the total cost of the sports uniform in this year okay so here it's nice and easy all that we need to do we just need to add up all these values together okay so if you just take these values and you add them all up you will get that the total cost of the school sports uniform in 2021 was so if you punch um these values into your calculator you'll find that the total cost of um the school uniform in 2021 was actually equal to 1224 rand and 85 cents okay so that is the total cost of the school uniform all right and that is it for question 1.2.4 right let's have a look at question let's have a look at question 1.2.5 right it says name one other item that is not listed in the table that john's daughter might need in order to play for the school's hockey team okay so here guys you can just think okay from the items that were given here we're given a shirt we're given shorts we're given a skirt we're given track a tracksuit top we're given pants we're given sports socks we're given a cap but do you guys realize what is not included in these items right right I mean, here, I mean, I, I feel like other items, you have to be a, a, a hockey player for you to know what items are missing, right? But then if you're not a hockey player, you are still given a chance to have something to write here. Do you guys see that techies are not included here? Okay, hockey shoes. Is this, I mean, you can't play hockey barefoot, okay? So we can see here that, okay, another item that is not listed in the table that John's daughter might need in order to play for the school's hockey team is hockey shoes. I can even say techies, right? If you're a soccer, uh, uh, if you're a hockey player, right, you can even add shin pads, okay? Shin pads, okay? But yeah, if you're not a hockey player like me, I just thought, okay, hockey shoes, techies. Okay, that's another item that is not listed here. Okay. And that is it, guys, for question 1.2. Nice question, right? A nice, easy, a nice, easy 10 marks. All that you need to do, you need to focus, just highlight where you need to focus your attention on. All right. And that is it for today's video tutorial, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, right? And in the next video tutorial, guys, you're going to be having a look at question 1.3. And in question 1.3, guys, we are going to be analyzing a line graph, okay? If you basically look at your scope for your exam, right, in data handling, you need to be able to analyze a line graph, a bar graph, a pie chart, right, a bosk and whisk, a plot, right? Those are different graphs that you need to be able to analyze, interpret, okay? So we're going to be looking at this line graph, so please make sure that you watch this video tutorial that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload a distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy Bye, guys.